So I've mentioned before that I'm not a fan of round handles on swords or edged weapons in general, and it seems that throughout history and most parts of the world, most sword makers weren't either. But I've never actually explained in detail why that is. Now I could just say a an oval or rectangular cross section helps with edge alignment and leave it at that. But it's more interesting to analyze the crap out of things, isn't it? Or at least I think so. Before I go into it, once again, there are exceptions. I have heard from people that they don't mind cutting with round handles at all, that it doesn't bother them, that they can still cut well, and so on. There are Chinese swords, for example, with round handles. And um, it is a personal preference thing, of course, and you can adjust to a wide variety of things. I mean, our hands have evolved to be able to grab all kinds of objects from hard, jagged rock to round, squishy things. Obviously, in case of a staff or spear, it doesn't matter. Round is just fine, because what you're doing is thrusting or striking. And for the strikes, it does not matter how it connects. It's round, any part, whichever part you uh, impact with doesn't matter. So that's all good. And same with daggers like this. Doesn't have an edge. This is just for thrusting. So has a round handle, no problem. You're not gonna be concerned about edge alignment. However, where it does become important is with swords or axes. So in this case, in order to deliver a successful cut, you have to make sure that the edge stays properly aligned with the direction of the cut. If I throw a diagonal cut like this and the edge is turned like that, it's going to connect partially with the flat, it may skip off, it's not going to cut deeply, it's going to be a bad cut, inefficient in historical combat, not good. So with this on the other hand, where the handle is wider than it is thick, this allows me to really feel where the edge is. It's also that it's more suitable for our hands, really. This is not round. This is actually more or less rectangular. That's just how our fingers naturally curl up. These knuckles all are pointing up on the, the thin part of the handle. This also applies to axes. You will see that this is a rounded rectangular cross section. It's not round. And what that does is when I impact, this is not as likely to just turn in my hand and just rotate all over the place. So when there is some resistance, it starts to cut into the target. Because of the shape, it's easier for me to keep it stable and maintain that instead of it just shifting around. Many axes and tomahawks have this kind of cross-section, teardrop shaped. It's uh, quite an acute taper here, which doesn't make it particularly comfortable on the fingers, in my opinion, but still you can easily feel where the edge is, of course. I have had the misfortune of trying to cut with an axe with a round handle. That's one of those dubious purchases that I made, um, I don't know, back in 2000 three or so. It was made with a round handle and uh, was a double bitted axe. It's, it was very noticeable that whenever you try to cut anything, it just, it just twists and it didn't bite very deeply into wood. It was just uh, kind of a pain in the ass, quite frankly. Even in case of an asymmetrical sword like this, this makes it a lot easier to tell where the edge is. Because you can see with this kind of guard, there's really only one way you can hold it. I, I cannot physically hold it like this. It would bind up against my wrist. This would be silly. So this is really the only way to hold it. Plus with rapiers and side swords, it is common to put a finger up here for additional point control. So this makes it very easy to feel exactly where the edge is. However, even this one is not round. I don't know how well you can see that, but it is wider than it is thick. And that makes it fit the hand very comfortably and effectively. You see there's this space here that the handle just 
fits in perfectly, fingers wrap around, and there you go. So again, a round handle on an edge weapon doesn't absolutely have to be a deal breaker. For me personally, it is just preference, but other people don't mind as much. And it's still possible to cut reasonably well, even with a round handle. There are also examples like this here. This is a spear with a round handle, obviously. And you can still cut with it. It is long enough. You have plenty of edge here. And yes, you can cut with a weapon like this just not quite as effectively and easily as with a rounded rectangular or oval cross section and even with those cutting isn't terribly easy you have to practice you have to train to be good at it of course but um goes without saying anyway i hope you found this informative and entertaining thanks for watching and happy new year everyone <music>